uh, welcome to this session. Uh, first of all, good afternoon, and we are going to begin with our discussion about mathematics paper one, which is four to five, stroke one. Uh, we are continuing with our discussion where we did the last time, which was about polynom polynomials. 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 That was our discussion which we had last in the last session. So we said when we look at the polynomials, they can be given in terms of quadratic. It can be either quadratic or it can be cubic or quadratic or even in the, in the other side of the increasing powers. So for it, it goes on increasing in beginning form, the quadratic, which is in form of uh, x squared, then you go to x cubed, you go to x power 4, like that, like that, as the, until with uh, any power which they have given you, you can handle it using the polynomials. So we are still looking at the examples concerning that, so we can first uh, look at this example before we continue further. The example which we have here goes uh, that, uh, that uh, in the polynomial, uh, we, we talked on the other example showing that, uh, that uh, mu times lambda equals 8. That one we proved it very well. So this is the equation now to cause. Now the polynomial, the polynomial, polynomial. So this is the polynomial that they are giving us in terms of cube, which is a cubic polynomial plus q x squared, then minus r x, then minus two minus two, they are saying now is, is divisible divisible by x plus two. They are saying that is divisible by x plus two. And we said when it is divided by something, this one we just use a long division while doing this why showing that it really is just being divisible by two. But also we are still the, the question is still continuing. The same comma it lives. It lives it lives a remainder a remainder of of eighteen when Divided when divided by x minus one. So they are saying that it leaves a remainder when of eighteen when divided by x by by x minus one. So and and also they are saying and when divided when divided by and when divided by x plus 3, when divided by x plus 3, comma leaves a remainder, a remainder of, they are saying leaves a remainder of negative 50. So now they are saying determine, determine. The, determine the values or determine okay so they wanted to determine the values of p comma q and the and r so and the r so they want us to get the value of p q and r then they say hence Factorize, factorize completely. So 
So that is the question. They are saying it's divisible by the other one, and we say when when anything, when something is being divided by something, or when a number is being divided by the other number, we said when we are dealing with polynomials, we equate everything to zero. When they say factor, factor, comma, divisible, divisible, or, or when they say, uh, or leaves no remainder. So these three things they mean that you equate that equation to, to zero. So that is what you must know first before you continue with the equation. So when they say factor or divisible, and in that divisible which they have given you, they have not said anything about the remainder. Just say everything is equal to zero. So that is what we are looking at right now. So this is the question. And we are continuing with our discussion about that. So having understood that one, we can continue now with the solution. The solution now, there's the solution. So they are saying the polynomial P of X equals Z plus QX squared minus RX minus 2 is, the, is the, our polynomial. Now they are saying it's divisible by X plus 2. And also they are saying it is a remainder of 18 when divided by X minus 1. And the, also when divided by X plus 3 gives a remainder of negative 50. Then they want you to determine the values of P2 and R. We say the first thing is to let, let the polynomial the polynomial which they are given us, let it be f of x. So they say that f of x be equal to uh, the polynomial which is px squared cubed, which is px cubed plus qx squared, so minus rx minus 2. So that is our polynomial. So now they are saying is, is divisible by x plus 2. We say now, uh, here when, when x plus 2 is the one dividing the whole thing. We said if it is dividing it, we equate this one to 0. So that means here by equating to 0, we need to get the value of x. So our x here will be negative 2 when you take it to the other side. So that will be our value of x. So after getting the value of x, you have substitute in this one and you equate the f of x to be what? To be 0. So that means here to be p into negative 2 squared. Now here it is cubed. Then plus q into negative 2 squared. So minus r into negative 2 minus 2 equals a 0. So this is this is what we have. So you have to cube this one when you cube a negative 2. We said when you cube any negative, you get a negative value. So here, when you cube a 2, that is negative 8 p. So when you square a negative, we say we get a positive. So here it becomes plus 4 q. So this sign remains this time this, which is a plus, plus 2 r, then minus 2 equals 0. Since you have a common term, which is in these, all of these ones, we can factorize it out or we divide the row by that common term, which is a 2. So we are dividing this equation by the 2. So here we shall have negative 4 P, then plus 2 Q, then plus R minus 1 equals a 0. So this one we shall call it equation equation 1. So after getting the equation 1, or before getting the equation 1, what I'm going to do, let me take the one this side. So I remember it's 4p, p 
plus 2q plus r equals z, 1. So that is equation 1. So after getting the equation 1, then we consider then uh, that it leaves a remainder of 18 when divided by x minus 1. So when uh, x minus 1 is dividing it, we are saying that the remainder, the remainder is equal to is equal to 8. Uh, this one is 18, so equals 18. So we say when they give you a remainder, uh, the value of f of x now becomes the, the remainder. So that means you have to make this one to be x minus 1 equals 0, so get x is equal to 1. So substituting the equation which is p into 1 cubed plus q into 1 squared minus r into 1 minus 2 equals z, 18. So for this case it will be p plus q minus r minus 2 equals z, 18. Bring this to the other side which will give us p plus q minus r equals z equals when we bring this on this side that is a 20. So that, will, that one becomes our equation e. Equation 2 is that. So after getting the equation 2 we are continuing also that when divided by x plus 3 when divided by x plus 3 this one leaves a remainder, remainder of negative 50. So after getting that, we substitute in the, the other one, but first get the value of x. So x plus 3 equals 0. So here, our x equals negative 3. So substitute in the other equation, the negative 3, which is p into negative 3, uh, q of the plus q into negative 3, square and minus r into negative 2 uh, this is negative 3 so minus 2 equals negative 50 so work upon this one you are going to have something like this when you cube a negative side you get a negative so this one will give us negative 27 p so this one becomes a positive plus 9q then plus 3r minus 2 equals z. this one gives us a negative 50 so we take this to the other side we shall have negative 27 p plus 9q plus 3r minus so this one becomes equals when you take this one this side it is a positive so when you get 50 plus negative 50 plus a 2, this one gives us uh, negative 40, 48. So that is what we have. So this one we are saying that it can also have a common factor which is a 3. So divide all through by 3. Uh, dividing all through by 3, what do we have? We shall have something like this. So dividing all through by three, we shall have that uh, this one is negative nine, negative nine p plus three q, then plus r uh, equals uh, negative. When divide this one by three, that is uh, negative. Uh, um, so we are dividing 48 by 3, that is the negative, uh, that is 1. So when you divide 4 by 3, that is 1 remainder, 18. So 18 by 3, 18 by 3, that gives us a 6. It gives us a 6, I think it is true. Uh, because when you say 6 times 3, this one gives you 12 uh, plus a 3, which is uh, 12 plus a 6, which is 18. So that is what we get out of that when we divide 48 by 3. So after getting that, we have to continue. Uh, getting now the values of PQ and R.
So we can get, we can make either P, Q or other in the second equation. Uh, since this one is the third, is the third equation. We say from from equation equation two from equation two that making p the subject that means our p equals uh, we take the q and r the other side which will be 20 20 plus 20 plus r minus q and this one be equation star so after getting equation star substitute in the first and the third equation get other two equations which will give us the values so we substitute in the equation in, uh, we say put in the one when we put in the one we have that four into the value of p p is 20 uh, plus r minus q 20 plus r minus q, that is plus 2q, then plus r equals 1. So that is what we have. This is 20. So that is what we have. So we multiply the, the 4 inside the bracket. By, by doing that, we shall, we shall be opening the bracket. So this time, this which becomes 80 plus 4r minus 4q, then plus 2q plus r uh, equals 1. So now this one comes the other side. I'll have the 80 comes this side.